Hi, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to design an Etsy banner. This is the finished design I came up with. I'm basically going to show you how to add some background colour, a frame, add some text and also some artwork. And the cool thing about this is I'm using completely free software. So the software is actually online. If you go across to pixelr.com forward slash editor, I'll take you straight there. So when it comes up, you want to create a new image. And for a large Etsy banner, the minimum recommendation is 1,200 pixels by 300, but we're actually going to double that. So type 2,400 pixels by 600, and that'll make your image really nice and sharp when we save it. So hit OK. And this is your canvas here. This program is a little bit like Photoshop. So I'm just going to show you some basic tools today. So first of all, we want a background color. Go across to your color picker and you can choose whatever color you like. It appears here. There's a particular gray that I like. And so I'm going to type in the hex code for that. C-E-C-E-C-E -C -E -C -E, and hit OK once you're done. Go up to the paint bucket tool and just click anywhere on your canvas. Next, I'm going to draw a frame. So first of all, go across to your layers panel and select a new layer. Then up here, we're going to select the drawing tool and we want the rectangle shape. We're going to create a border of about five pixels, but we don't want it to be filled with any color. We do want the border to be white. So you have to choose the border color down here, back in your color picker. So I'm going to move it right to there where you can see white. Hit OK once you're done. With your cursor tool, there's a little cross. Move your, your cursor right to the edge and drag and drop it. Pull it diagonally until it's at the edge and let go. And there you have your frame. Next, I'm going to add some text to this. So this is your text tool, that big A. And the writing that I want for this, Jessica Smith, I'm going to use a font that I have already installed onto my computer. So all your fonts will appear here. The one I'm going to use is a paid for font called Featherly. I want it to be a bit bigger. And you can see that it's cut off some of the edges here. So I'm just going to give it some space and return a couple of times and then hit OK. Next, I'm going to write the word photography. So again, with your text tool selected, just click anywhere on your canvas. And this time I'm going to use a font called Playfair Display. I'll link to these fonts down below so that you can use these yourself. And I really want this all to be in capitals, so I'm going to put my caps lock on. And I'm actually going to manually add a space between all of these letters, because I like the way that's spaced out. But I'm going to bring that right down to about 38. And you can also choose and change your color in here. Once you're happy with that, hit OK. So you can see here in your layers panel, you've got your different layers. So your Jessica Smith here. And to move that, you've got to go across to your move tool. And you can move it around to where you like. And again, you can select the photography. OK, so when you're happy with that, I'm going to add some artwork next. I'm going to use artwork for one of our design kits called Bell. Go up to file open image and of course you can use any image or photograph that you want. I'm going to choose a pink and orange arrangement. Make sure to pick the PNG file because it has a transparent background to it. Then hit open. You can see the arrangements appeared onto your screen but we want it to be applied to our banner so to do that we're going to have to copy this image and then paste it onto this one. I'm just going to move this up. So Make sure you've selected your pink and orange arrangement. We're going to go to edit, select all, edit, copy, then click on your banner, edit, 
paste. And you see your image has appeared onto this one. So I'm just going to get rid of this, get it out of the way. Okay. So here we have our image. But of course, it's far too big. So we're going to make that a bit smaller. Go up to edit again, free transform. Grab one of the corners and hold down your shift key and bring it in. And you can place it wherever you like. Okay, once you're happy with the position of it, click elsewhere on your canvas. It says, do you want to apply the changes and select yes. So that's our finished banner. To save this, go to File, Save. And you can either do it as a JPEG, um, which I recommend highest quality or a PNG. Once you're done, hit OK. Let's see banner, just name it and save. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We've also written a blog post to help with all the sizes and dimensions that you need for when you're designing anything on Etsy. Please check that out. All the links to the fonts and the artwork are all down below. See you soon.